10. We are very excited to join forces with the government of St. Lucia in support of the reform of the TV land landscape in the country. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre and Ambassador of the European Union to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean states, Malgothata Wazeluska, finalized the terms of an easy $16.8 million grant from the European Union to support initiatives in the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Commerce, and the St. Lucia Council for Technical and Vocational Education and Training. We are going to be training young St. Lucians to give them the skills, the necessary skills, so that they can produce. The EU grant will be used to provide stipends for participants and also make available seed capital to trainees. The EU funding will also be used to establish a workforce development center in the island's south. Nine. Tuesday, November 15th marked two weeks since the recommencement of works at the St. Jude Hospital. The government of St. Lucia, through its primary stakeholders, namely the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the Ministry of Infrastructure, the Ministry of Economic Development, the Contractor, Construction and Industrial Supplies Limited are all working to realize the completion of works on the project. Eight. The government and people of Taiwan donated a veterinary PCR analyzer to the Agricultural Ministry for the purpose of testing for African swine fever and other viruses. We are therefore extremely grateful to the Taiwanese government for the support, specifically provision of training and equipment to combat the threats of exotic animal diseases like the African swine fever. Seven. The Department of Finance recently held a Business Continuity Planning BCP training for various units in the department. Technical assistance was provided by the World Bank. When a disaster happens, we want to ensure that our operations continue. Of course, we'll not be able to do that 100%, but of course, you'd want the critical components of government to be able to continue. And for the BCP training, this is what we're trying to get our colleagues to understand. Six. Prime Minister, the Honorable Philip G. Pierre. The subregion's top swimmers made a splash at the Rodney Heights Aquatic Center in St. Lucia for the 30th OECS Swimming Championship held on the weekend. I believe swimming, they have a culture of, you know, parental involvement. And I really want that emulated um, in other sports. And so you would see a bumper crowd at the Rodney Heights Aquatic Center featuring parents and family, relatives of the swimmers. And the support is tremendous. Four. The Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School has recently relaunched its Junior Safety Monitors program. This program was developed following training from SEDEMA in the Model Safe Schools program and seeks to train selected students in various aspects of school safety and disaster risk reduction, also instilling positive leadership skills geared towards nurturing a culture of safety and discipline at the school. Our Junior Safety Monitors program develops student leaders. So have a look at them, our future leaders. Three. The Project Implementation Unit within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is working assiduously to ensure the successful implementation of the performance-based financing PBF pilot program. Consultant for Health Quality at the World Bank, Dr. Ben Chan, spoke on performance-based financing being an effective approach to ensure more screening and treatment of patients for diabetes and hypertension at various primary healthcare facilities. 
So essentially, we all want uh, more patients to be screened for these conditions, and if they are screened, to be treated and managed properly. So that means that we want them to make sure they come back on a regular basis. Two. From a donation of equipment valued at over 12,500 euros, was presented to the Uptown Gardens Girls Center officials, Caroline Trobiskoy, Honorary Council of the Federal Republic of Germany, underscored her passion to assist vulnerable and needy children. I'm really happy that perhaps I can also now contribute, we, the government of Germany, can contribute to your education and your development by having donated these um, smart TVs and some new laptops. One. The Department of Economic Development recently presented Senusha's Medium-Term Development Strategy, MTDS 2021-2026, at a United Nations organized meeting. How could we work together better to provide the support to be more strategic and more impactful and more relevant for the government of St. Lucia?